Okay, so here are all the wing parts. There's the skins. And all those little spars and ribs were cut out. Center section I already built, but there's parts for the ailerons, which will be pretty self-explanatory later. We'll put them in together later. Um, but these are the parts, general parts. So here's a spar. Again, it's out of balsa wood. And you can see the little number there. And you see the notches, and that goes all the way out to the edge. That is um, for the top wing panel. These spars are for the bottom wing. And you can see I already put a rib at the edge. And they tell you which rib to put where on the ends. That's important. Like that one goes there. But notice that part is actually bent. Um, it's actually got an angle on it because that's the part that goes into the fuselage and will give you kind of an automatic dihedral. And that little piece there that's shaped covered like wood, that's going to be hanging down below the lower laundron on the wing or on the body. So it'll look pretty cool when it's done. It's, it's there on purpose so that it hides and looks like wood. But then we'll put these in the slots when they're done, just like that. And with a little bit of jiggering around, we'll have a lower wing. So there's the center section. I built it. I had some problems uh, with video, but it's just a couple ribs and a center piece that goes through, center piece of wood, and it gives a nice shape, fit just fine, not a big deal. Now these are, we'll start with the top wing panels. That is the piece, the rib, and then you can see that little spot there is telling you what, which spar to add there. And it's just butt joined. And that's how you figure out which spar goes where. And it took a little while to think about it. But we're just going to put glue on the end of that spar and stick it right in there. Notice that the little slots will be up. And the edge is bent. It's, it's cut at an angle. Again, that's so that you'll have automatic dihedral. But put some glue on the end of that spar. And I just butt join it right to that um, piece. And works very well. Um, and you can see that's kind of the idea. It's going to go right up against there when it's all done. So that'll be fine. Now, um, when you take the uh, skins, there's a couple different sizes of ribs. So the big ribs go along that piece, and then the short ones go where the aileron goes, which makes kind of sense. That's a short one there. Because when those go through the spar, they don't want to go all the way to the back because there's ailerons back there. So there's a spar. Um, that's again for the bottom wing. There is the bottom wing, the I guess right one, and that's the correct piece. And what it's going to do is go right up, right about there when it gets glued in. Um, but what I'm deciding to do is put the spar, or put the ribs on first. Now to make sure I don't screw up, you don't have to do this. I put little black lines in those last three. That's where the short ribs go. Because as you're doing this, you're cruising along, it'd be a bummer to put the wrong rib in. So those last three on the wingtip is where the short ribs go. That again, correlate with aileron. You make sure there's a long rib. Make sure, of course, your ribs are all matching up so that your leading edges are going on and your trailing edges. Sounds dumb, but don't ask me if uh, I've ever put them on backwards. So I put a little dab of super glue in, in my case. Any kind of glue would work. This is just faster. And you just line it up into the slot. And it fits really nice, actually. And then I use the little lines on my board to sort of make things even and then eyeball it. That way I know I'm not way off. They're supposed to be perpendicular, at least between the rib and the spar. So that's good. And then you just keep doing this all the way down the line. So I sped this up because you'll fall asleep otherwise. So I put those ribs on, and then I go to the longer ribs. I got Cavalier there. I put glue on two of them at once. But you see, I just adjust it as I go, make sure it's relatively straight. And then I did all the others before off camera. So they're all ready now to actually be skinned. So there is one of the skins. And you can see that where it's going to have to go. Now, how do you line it up? I found out that I'm going to put it on the bottom side, which makes sense. But I found out that the way to line it up is to line up the aileron ribs back there, because those have to be butted right up to the edge, because that's where aileron goes. So I'm going to line these, I'm going to put glue on them, line those up first, right? And then come back and get everything else kind of straightened up. You can see my spar is kind of like a piece of spaghetti. But overall, it, it turns out just fine. So you put some glue on here, not 400 gallons of glue like I almost did. 
Jeez, what a moron. A um, little bit of glue. And I, I take most of that glue off, by the way. That's way too much. But you glue all the pieces up. Um, I find if you put too much glue, you, you run into trouble. But there I am lining up on the back end where the aileron hinge line is. And then butting up the edge where it's going to be. And then I make sure that that edge, where my thumbs are moving down there, is going to be right. And then I'm just checking, making sure the ailer or the the spar is straight. You know, you want it to be perpendicular, everything be perpendicular. And that tacky glue goes on really quick. And there you've got the spar on. That's nice and flush. And you've got all your ribs down. And you just make sure you push everything down. Make sure it all dries straight. And you should have the beginnings of a nice strong wing. So that's how you do all of them. Now, there it is. Looks good. Now, that edge there and that edge of the rib, you want to line up something long, like I use a ruler, slide it under with the paper, line it up on those two points, and that's going to give me something to bend that paper over. Now, you could pre-bend the paper a little bit, but I wanted to wait and see where the ribs were and let them form it for me. Now, if you go real slow, you don't whip it over, you don't fold it like you're folding an envelope. You do it very slowly, and you kind of push it up, and you let it down, and you push it up, and you let it down. You kind of... I guess you're sort of stretching or breaking some fibers in the paper so that, uh, you know, it, it'll go over nice. You don't want any crunkles, crinklies on the front. Um, cellulose is held together with hydrogen bonds, and a lot of them together are very, very strong. So you want to be just kind of careful and take, take your time rolling it around. And then you just roll it all the way down, and you'll notice that it comes down. And in this case, all four... Well, three of them that I did beforehand all lined up beautifully. This one didn't line up so well in the end. I put a little uh, marker on the lower um, piece, um, just in case. And then you put some glue on there, just like before, this time on the top. Put some glue down, and then I use my finger to sort of smooth it and kind of make it a little bit, a little less um, glue. Because too much gloppy glue, it shows through. It, sh it, 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 looks, it looks funny otherwise. In retrospect, I would have put more ribs in there to make it look more scale. But And then on the undersurface of the top wing skin, uh, on the trailing edge there, I put some glue because I'm going to put that down. I put my uh, ruler down, and I just roll it over like I did before. And it lines up. Now, again, in this case, this is a bad example. The root didn't line up, and when you see some pictures, you can see on the bottom, you can see i got a big gap on the bottom. So that's my fault. The other three... Trust me, worked out much better. So it's not the kit. This is this is operator error for sure. But I'll be able to work around it. It'll be okay. But there's a, what one of the wings looks like. And um, got the edge where it's going to go into the fuselage. The leading edge turned out okay. You know, it looks good. And the ailerons will just go on pretty easy later. Not worried about those. Now you just got to do the wing tip. So... It's shaped because it's the, the spar itself has a, little, has a shape to it, like a teardrop shape or a, a pointed shape on the end. Put a little glue on both sides and then put some glue along the paper edge. And then squeeze it. Again, squeezing just the very edge because you don't want it to look too pointy, I guess. Um, you can also open it up a little bit with an X-Acto if it looks really bad or looks funny. Um, all of them, I've had this with every paper model wing I've ever done, when you put them down... No matter how good they look, the leading edge on the tip kind of looks ratty. So I always end up sanding it a little and then hitting it with a little bit of marker or paint, depending what you're doing. And because mine is so far off, I have to paint that uh, rib. It shouldn't be open. You shouldn't see it. It, sh it should have turned out like the other side, which you haven't seen. Anyway, but there is how it's going to fit in when it's time, just like so i got to get a good picture and see what the actual angle is so I can make it right. Um, and then here's the top wing, as I said. That'll just, those will butt, they'll be butt joints, but they'll be plenty strong. Got to, again, make them, I don't trust the angle that's on there. i got to sort of figure it out. But there you go.